All right, I'm going to show you how most of this works. The first piece of software we'll look at is OBS. I divide my space into four quadrants so that I can push the TJ and visual feeds together. This will knock you down to 540 by 960 per feed. And in my current setup, I catch Resolume Avenue using the Spout plugin for OBS from Offworld Live. And I use my Logitech C920 as a source for my DJ feed. This is a lot to expect of one computer, so chances are you'll be bringing in sources from at least one other computer. If you've already set up or paid for an RTMP server, you can have your external sources send in their full resolution feeds to your server. To open the stream in OBS on another computer, create a media source and uncheck local file. Then in the input, paste your RTMP stream address. If you don't want to get any further and just want to be a guest artist feed for myself or another similar setup, all you have to do is set up OBS to stream your contribution in and let someone else worry about all the numerous other technical details. For an RTMP server, I have the free GitHub project Restreamer set up on a Raspberry Pi 4B. Getting a Restreamer software to work requires a passing ability to use Docker and a little investment of time for setup, but for free, it's hard to beat. It should be noted that I have crazy fast fiber internet and no data caps either up or downstream, so probably don't try this on dial-up. If things don't scale well on the Pi, I'll probably set up Restreamer on my second computer. Don't forget to forward your correct port if you decide to go this route usually 1535. Otherwise, there are lots of commercial RTMP server hosting options of which I have never used and have no advice to give you. For up to four streams brought into OBS, we're going to configure OBS to stream to our server. Go to your settings, stream, custom streaming service. If you're using Restreamer, you'll want to set up a channel with an internal RTMP server feed which will generate you a RTMP stream address you can copy and paste. Other RTMP solutions let you use your domain or IP followed by live and a stream key of your choosing. At this point, you can click start stream to test your stream and you should see your little green indicator in the bottom right. You can verify in Restreamer that your video is passing through and then it's over to Unreal. Our video feed coming in from OBS is broken into four parts, so we're going to use a little UV math and a few scalar parameters to make a texture capable of changing between our four quadrants using material instances and the aforementioned scalar parameters. You'll want to make four parameters corresponding to the numerator and denominator as a fraction is the easiest way for me to think of it. Your denominator, lower number in a fraction, will determine how many slices to divide your texture into, in our case, two. But you could use this logic to make a four by four or any other configuration of rows and columns. Your numerator, top number in a fraction, determines your slice that's selected. So in our case, one or two. This gets added to our texture coordinate node and like magic, our texture is divided into selectable parts. Feel free to apply these textures to whatever you need. Uh, you'll have to create a material instance for each uh, quadrant or screen, but once you do, feel free to apply those textures to whatever you need. I have my DJ feed set up as a simple plane with some green keying. There are a lot of resources out there on the topic, so I'll try to link to the video I use for my current setup. It involves copying a good deal of logic from the Unreal Composure plugin. Now hopping into SoundSwitch, I show that my DMX library is made up mostly of robot heads, a custom fixture I had the kind folks at SoundSwitch build for me that utilizes the properties available in Unreal with a minimal number of channels. This is helpful since SoundSwitch only has two universes. I also use six single channel relays to control my rotating screens. The screens can go clockwise, counterclockwise, or stop. It adds a lot of movement to the scene without much effort. Now we need to get our RTMP stream into Unreal. For this, we'll be using the FFmpeg plugin for Unreal. 
It was built for 4.26, but works with 4.27 with a couple of uh, caveats. The big one being that you'll have to open another media file with, for instance, WMF player before you can open your RTMP stream using the FFmpeg plugin. I couldn't tell you why, but it definitely won't work, at least in 4.27, unless you do this. From there, it's just a matter of entering the, your URL from OBS earlier as a streaming media source in Unreal. When you open the media file, you'll see my stream time debug message and know you're in business. For your visuals, you can use a pixel screen style mask to help obscure the low resolution and your artist feed will probably look fine at medium to far distance with some compromise in quality for close-ups. You could try doing multiple 1080p streams or even a 4K stream or something. I don't know if Unreal is going to open to RTMP streams stably or reliably. And streaming out 4K to each client is going to get really heavy pretty quickly unless you're using a professional solution. Well, that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, let me know questions, likes, subscribes, what you want more details on, if you want more videos. Okay.